Welcome to Spotlight. I'm Terry Harrington, and I have the privilege of being joined today on our program with Tyrone Burrell. He's the executive director and the founder of the Suns Outreach here in Port Huron. And it's funny how things kind of change and twist and turn around. And you had a big twist this fall, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of a, uh, a five-year twist. <laughs> um, we um, just were approved uh, for a purchase offer on Harrison School. And that comes uh, in the wake of the pandemic. Two years ago, we were about to build on our mm -hmm. property on um, uh, 16th and Dove, and you know the prices of everything went sky high. Yep. <laughs> we got a grant to uh, do some programming after school and needed a location, and Harrison came up. We did our programming there uh, starting from last year. Uh, and found out that this is a this this is a nice nice place for us to uh, do our outreach, uh, and then it came open for uh, for a bid went on the market and we put a bid in and, and it was accepted. Great. So that's really a win win for the whole community. I mean, it helps the school district because now they've got a property they don't need anymore. Yeah. And you've got a great facility to to grow your program. Yeah, yeah. Well, I wouldn't say they don't need need, but <laughs> they are uh, <clears throat> you know are going to want to maintain their adult learning uh -huh. there and their robotics. So we're working through sure. how that's going to sure. work, but, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, yeah. So what kind of program are you going to be able to offer through, through Harrison now? Well, there's two primary things when everything comes together is a junior tech vocational trades okay. achievement and experience center. <laughs> and, you know, the thought behind that is that, um, you know, young people don't know what they don't know. And we've had such an emphasis on uh, the traditional college approach, but there's this need for uh, trades and vocations. And, you know, I, you, of course, you're affiliated with RISA. Mm -hmm. And uh, we kind of would like to mirror some of those programming uh, modules at, at RISA and just bring them down to an earlier age, get kids exposed seventh and eighth grade and, mm -hmm. and on through high school. Um, Last year, we um, got our feet wet with some culinary. See the pictures? Like to eat, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> culinary, woodworking, mm -hmm. uh, and welding. We did the virtual welding. Uh, Pat Yannick over at RISA uh, uh, shared with us information on what they do at RISA with the virtual welders, so we were able to purchase a few of those. And over the summer, our kids, many who had um, done the virtual welding, were able now to work in a welding shop, wow. uh, being tutored, mentored by uh, actual folks in the business, along with, um, uh, that was 10 kids, and then 10 kids also in woodworking, utilizing the, the mill room, um, Michigan Mutuals. Um, they, you, don't, you might not know, but there's a wood shop there <laughs> where guys, girls work on their kayaks and different things all kind of tools and so our kids worked in there also so yeah good stuff so and these are opportunities these kids wouldn't have had otherwise yeah 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 and um you know one parent called me and said she was just so appreciative that her son was able to get in the welding component because uh, he wasn't able to get into risa uh, mm -hmm. or the tech center because you know they have limited uh, spots uh, so he got some exposure one of the welding uh, owners of uh, S Custom Well on 16th Street said, uh, I could hire two of your people right off the bat just in the first beads that they laid seeing the, the innate, the skill that they had. Um, our kids in the woodworking are now moved on to making product. They're working on their first uh, uh, chairs. I should have brought a picture in of the chair. <laughs> And they've got them sold already, you know. Wow, so, uh, so they're learning things, and um, and uh, it's a good thing. Great. Well, we need to take a break. We'll be back with more with Tyrone Burrell. So don't go away. Women's Life Insurance Society is a different kind of insurance provider. It's the life insurance you need to protect your family's financial security with the added benefit of helping those in need in your community. Choose planning ahead and giving back. Choose Women's Life. Welcome back to Spotlight. We're talking with Tyrone Burrell. He's the executive director and the founder of Sons Outreach Ministries here in Port Huron. And uh, we've been talking about you being able to get the new, or well, new for you, the Harrison Center. 
uh, from the Port Huron Area School District, a partnership with there. Any idea when you're going to be able to uh, actually move in and, and begin setting up shop there? Well, there's things that we have to do beforehand. Um, building inspections and go mm -hmm. through all that process, our due mm -hmm. diligence. Um, we would like to secure um, an anchor partner. Mm -hmm. You know, taking on a uh, school building means more overhead costs mm -hmm. and whatnot. So, you know, um, so we're working on that. Got some different organizations that are really interested in being in there with us. Um, so that's exciting. I can't give a timeline. We are uh, working on uh, the, the preparation of all of our programming. You know, I'd like to go in and, and have the woodworking, the welding, the, uh, we even have sewing. Uh, and we have a vision for so much. I mean, there's, uh, we've been in talks with um, Interplay Learning, which is a virtual module, mm -hmm. which does uh, eight different things, including HVAC, solar, oh, wow. solar mm -hmm. uh, facilities management, um, electrical. And so, so there's aspects that we want to roll out, but on a kind of a, a timetable that doesn't cram everything together so we can do things well. Right. As I was going to say, you don't want to just rush into yeah. it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you mentioned, too, that you know, right now a lot of it is geared more to the high school, mm -hmm. middle school age kids. Yeah. Yeah. What about the younger learners, the elementary kids? Well, Dream Camp is mm -hmm. something we've been doing, and, and that's been... Uh, uh, sponsored by uh, the Atchison Foundation mm -hmm. for years and, uh, and the Community Foundation. And the thing about Dream Camp, we reach elementary kids all over the city for two months in the summer. Mm -hmm. We're developing relationships, we're having our teens mentor them, and, uh, and then it's over. And this has been something on my heart. I'd like to stay connected with those, those elementary kids all school year. So you're building those relationships, you're building character, you're finding out who are the leaders from an early age that you, we can pour into and they can become part of our team of staff and volunteers that really impact the community uh, in their, you know, their older years. So, so to have the building available, uh, to have this elementary outreach, and we're kind of looking at an outreach bottled after for our viewers you can check out the power company in pontiac michigan the kids power company a great outreach and we'd like to do some things where uh, like that uh reaching kids all over the city with a saturday just explosive ministry uh in the gymnasium with acting and songs and music and teaching and fun uh so um so yeah, so we have that connection with kids throughout the whole school year. Great. A lot of great, exciting things coming up, and 2023 is going to be a busy year as you put all this stuff together, isn't it? Yeah. But why is it I'm getting old now? <laughs> I hear you. So. So, but I th the key is to have the right people, and we've got a great team of uh, staff and volunteers, and so we'll be looking for more folks as we begin to get the word out of what we're doing to come and join us and lift up our arms to really make a, a great impact. Great. Well, Tyrone, I want to thank you for everything you're doing for our kids and what you're doing for our community. And we want to thank you for joining us on Spotlight.